So last night I told you how much I love walking my dog at truck stops late at night. I do, but I also love charity. So let's get to my latest piece of art. I call this Frankencorn. Here I try to capture the true inspiration behind Benjamin Franklin's great achievements. And of course it was a unicorn. Here's a fun fact. A unicorn once saved Benjamin Franklin's life by pulling him out of a house fire. But being a unicorn, right after pulling him out of the fire, he tried to mate with him. That's because <laughs> unicorns are filthy, filthy, dirty animal perverts. Awful. So the winning bid for this piece of art uh, came from Andrew Wimsat, who offered uh, $700 for this piece of art. That's a lot of money. Congrats, Andrew. Now, as you know, all that money this week uh, goes to TAPS, a nonprofit group that provides grief counseling and support programs to families of fallen soldiers. You can go to TAPS.org to learn more. But let's not forget the real message here. It's not about charity, it's about me, because I really care. You should reward me with a back rub. Mm. Yeah, all right. Or not. Yeah. You don't have to, but you should. We're going to close things out with the post-game wrap-up from TV's Andy Levy. And Phil, could you get off your phone? <laughs> Seriously, man, you do the show for 42 minutes. You don't have to be on your BlackBerry during the show. All right, I'll see you back here at 5 p.m. Eastern time for The Five. And Andy will be on the Willis Report at 5 p.m. Eastern on Fox Business Network. A brand new Red Eye returns tomorrow. Time to go back to TV's Andy Levy for the postgame wrap-up. Thanks. So we're going to be on shows at the same time. Yeah, that's isn't that going to be fun? I believe that's a first. They better not watch you. Yep. They better watch me. Fox Business people. Uh. Demand it. <laughs> uh, and how's the book doing? Fine, thank you. Excellent. How's, uh, what's going on with Twitter? Um, I don't really fully have the hang of it yet. I'll tweet like mad for a day right. and then forget that I even have a Twitter account for two weeks. Yeah. That's healthy. <laughs> That's good. You have a life. Unlike Andy, he's a good Twitterer. Oh, thank you. Because I don't have a life. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Makes it easy. Uh, Jesse, you heading up to Canada? Again, yes, I am. Uh, Absolute Comedy in, in Ottawa, Canada. That's where I made my CD. So uh, if anybody's watching, come to that. And happy birthday to my wife. Aww. Aww. Yeah, we will we will bleep that out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, make sure you keep all the f bombs I said at the no, beginning. No, oh, I, those could stay. Yeah, because you're a comedian. Where are you performing? Absolute comedy in Ottawa. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I thought there was right. a name of a club or something. Wednesday through Sunday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Matt, you giving a speech this weekend? Is this right? People actually come to hear me talk, yeah. The American Association yeah. of Individual Investors. Maybe like six people, but I'm going to still fly to L.A. <laughs> and hang out. Yeah. Uh, but more importantly, I want to uh, wish a happy birthday to the girl that woke up in my bed this morning. It was her birthday. Hey. Mm -hmm. You know what? Next time, wow. remember what the name. What was my wife doing? Remember <laughs> the name. <laughs> and also, remember I'm not a girl. <laughs> Just <laughs> Thank horrible. you. It is with my birthday tomorrow. Unbelievable. <laughs> Back to you, Greg. Well, thank you, Andy. Well, you're welcome. And Coulter, always a pleasure. So, yeah. Matt McCall, delightful. <laughs> Jesse Joyce, always a pleasure having you on this show. Thanks. That does it for me. <laughs> I shall see you next time.